Leo's head throbbed. He had mixed feelings about Hera. She'd meddled in his life since he was a baby, molding him to serve her purposes in this big prophecy. But at least she'd been on their side, more or less. If she was out of the picture now... So why are you here? he asked. Well, I had to offer my help. Nemesis smiled wickedly. Leo glanced at Hazel. She looked like she'd just been offered a free snake. Your help? Leo said. Of course, the goddess said. I enjoy tearing down the proud and powerful. There are none so deserving as tearing down Gaia and her giants. Still, I must warn you that I will not suffer undeserved success. Good luck is a sham. The Wheel of Fortune is a Ponzi scheme. True success requires sacrifice. Sacrifice? Hazel's voice was tight. I lost my mother. I died and came back. Now my brother's missing. Isn't that enough sacrifice for you? Leo could totally relate. He wanted to scream that he'd lost his mom too. His whole life had been one misery after another. He'd lost his dragon, Festus. He'd nearly killed himself trying to finish the Argo too. Now he'd fired on the Roman camp, most likely started a war, and maybe lost the trust of his friends. Right now, he said, trying to control his anger, all I want is some celestial bronze. Oh, that's easy, Nemesis said. It's just over the rise. You'll find it with the sweethearts. Wait, Hazel said. What sweethearts? Nemesis popped a cookie in her mouth and swallowed it, fortune and all. You'll see. Perhaps it will teach you a lesson, Hazel Levesque. Most heroes cannot escape their nature, even when given a second chance at life. She smiled. And speaking of your brother, Nico, you don't have much time. Let's see. It's June 25th? Yes, after today, six more days, then he dies, along with the entire city of Rome. Hazel's eyes widened. How? What? As for you, child of fire, she turned to Leo, your worst hardships are yet to come. You will always be the outsider, the seventh wheel. You will not find a place among your brethren. Soon you will face a problem you cannot solve, though I could help you. For a price. Leo smelled smoke. He realized the fingers on his left hand were ablaze, and Hazel was staring at him in terror. He shoved his hand in his pocket to extinguish the flames. I like to solve my own problems. <laughs> Very well. Nemesis brushed cookie dust off her jacket. But, um, what sort of price are we talking about? The goddess shrugged. One of my children recently traded an eye for the ability to make a real difference in the world. Leo's stomach churned. You want an eye? In your case, perhaps another sacrifice would do, but something just as painful. Here. She handed him an unbroken fortune cookie. If you need an answer, break this. It will solve your problem. Leo's hand trembled as he held the fortune cookie. What problem? You'll know when the time comes. No thanks, Leo said firmly, but his hand, as though it had a will of its own, slipped the cookie into his tool belt. Nemesis picked another cookie from her bag and cracked it open. You will have to consider, and you'll have to think about it. Your choices will be soon. Oh, I like that one. No changes needed here. She resealed the cookie and tossed it into the basket. Very few gods will be able to help you on the quest. Most are already incapacitated, and their confusion will only grow worse. One thing might bring unity to Olympus again. An old wrong finally avenged. Ah, that would be sweet indeed. The scales finally balanced, but it won't happen unless you accept my help. I suppose you won't tell us what you're talking about, Hazel muttered. Or why my brother Nico has only six days to live, or why Rome is going to be destroyed. Nemesis chuckled. She rose and slung her sack of cookies over her shoulder. Oh, that's all tied together, Hazel of SK. As for my offer, Leo Valdez, give it some thoughts. You're a good child, a hard worker. We could do business, but I have detained you too long. You should visit the reflecting pool before the light fades. My poor cursed boy gets quite agitated when the darkness comes. Leo didn't like the sound of that, but the goddess climbed on her motorcycle. Apparently it was drivable despite the Pac-Man shaped wheels, because Nemesis revved the engine and disappeared in a mushroom cloud of black smoke. Hazel bent down. All the broken cookies and fortunes had disappeared, except one crumpled slip of paper. She picked it up and read, You will see yourself reflected, and you will have reason to despair. Fantastic, Leo grumbled. Let's go see what that means.